in this video we are going to add some impact animation to our projectiles so that when they hit the monsters they will make like some kind of poof animation uh, and then they will disappear when the animation is done so the first thing we have to do is to create the actual animation and to do that we need to go to the sprites folder and then find the effects folder and then we need to create an animation from this poof um, sprite here so just take it and drag it into the scene and let's put this one into animations and let's create a new one called uh, other and then name this one poof there we go if we play um, the scene now you'll see that it keeps playing and it's like this one kind of poof animation so we need to go to the animations here and select other go to this proof animation and make sure that loop time is not checked because we don't need to loop it we just need to play it once so this is the controller we we'll just call it um, projectile controller I think give me one second we need to see if we have some controller on our projectiles so if we click a projectile they don't have any animator on them right now yeah so we need to call this one as I did projectile controller and move it into the controllers folder here um, yeah, red blue green controller let's just make one called other as well then put the projectile controller in there okay so first of all this one is very large so we need to go to the script uh, sprite folder select the um, effects and then select these and make them pixels per unit to 300 and click apply now it's smaller and I think it fits better with the with the projectiles now okay. to play this we will have to go to the um, any animator um, so open the animator window and then find a um, the projectile we have there and if we select that you'll see that it starts with the proof right away but we don't want it to proof right away so we can right click create state empty and then simply rename the new state to um, something like um, projectile so this is just our projectile state so we'll start in the projectile state here and then we will move on to the proof state at some point so we need to make a transition from projectile to proof by right clicking on projectile and selecting make transition and clicking on proof when you've done that we can try to find the prefabs and projectiles and let's just try with the fire projectile to start with so we need to add an uh, animator on this go and this animator needs a controller so we can just take the controller and the projectile controller and give it to it and then we can say the transition here needs to be we need something on this transition right so we click the parameters click the plus and set a trigger and just call it impact so if the impact trigger is triggered well click here and if you trigger that then it's going to go to the poof animation so when do we need to trigger this well we need to trigger it when we hit something but let's just go to the prefab folder and projectiles and then just replace the fire projectile here and then delete these two from um, from the scene and what else then we have to then we have to open the scripts so let's find our scripts and then find our projectile script and inside the projectile script we will have to do something because we already have some um, trigger information there right and we need to have a reference to the animator so first of all we need to make a private animator called my animator and then we need to set it here so my animator Amy animator yay my animator um so my animator equals get component animator and if we save this and scroll all the way down 
so before we release the object here I would like to say my animator dot set trigger impact so should be familiar with this we created a trigger before in unity called impact um, yeah now I don't have that thing but we made a trigger here before called impact and we want to trigger that by calling set trigger impact but we are removing this right away let's just comment this one out because we just want to see if this works right so we save this and play a game and let's try to put a fire projectile and see if it actually plays an impact that thing so we have fire projectile there and there we go you can see when it hits it makes that impact thing however I wasn't very happy with what it did right if you saw before it just flew towards it and then it took a split second before it actually made the impact animation you can see there right we want to do it right away so let's try to select that uh, controller if we get that controller again um, other projectile controller here and if we select the transition and open up the settings and make sure there's no exit time on it and there's no transition duration on it either let's try one more time and see if it actually plays the animation correctly now, now. and there we go so now it actually makes that impact right away when it hits the target but one problem is that um, you can see it doesn't disappear right we have two projectiles now floating around in our game and that's because we outcome in this but if I comment this one in again and save and play the game one more time then you'll see that the projectile disappears before it does the animation as you can see here it just disappears as before so we need to do something so this doesn't happen until it's done animating so cut that line on control X and go to the poof animation here add behavior and call it impact behavior inside impact behavior let's wait for it to open up there we go we go to the transition called on state exit so on state exit is called when we transition away from uh, the animation so if we have that on impact when we're done with the impact we can transition to another state and then say game manager instance pool remove uh, release object animator dot game object so the um, what is it called the behavior here is going to sit on this uh, proof animation which means when it's done playing the behavior in here can be used to do stuff on enter it's executed when we transition to the animation um, on state object it is executed every time an update is called when the animation is playing and on state exit is called whenever it transitions to another state so if we had if the behavior wasn't projectile it will transition to proof and that means that if this was a behavior on projectile it would call the on state exit when it transitions from here up to here but now it's here and it can't go anywhere else so there's no way that this code here is going to execute because it's on state exit and it's never going to exit this because if we play the game and set this one here and press next wave and if I try to pause there if we select the fire projectile you'll see that the projectile here is, ex is, is animating at some point it's going to transition to proof when it does that on um, state exit is called here but we want to call on state exit here when it's done see but proof state exit is never called because it's not transition somewhere else so what we can do is we can create state an empty state and we can just call this uh, empty something like that and this time we simply just leave this um, transition with all the um, exit times and everything because I have a feeling that well, I've tried before where these uh, are not going to be called without exit times so just press the stop button in here 
click that by mistake apparently. Um, so if we play now, let's try. If I place a fire tower and I do like this, see what happens. So it fires this one. And the fire projectile is now not active, right? So it's just sitting somewhere in my game world right there without being active. So I play again. I guess it's going to reuse the same fire projectile. And I think there was a problem because I think it didn't reset it. Let's try one more time. See what happens. Seems like it didn't reset to the... Because now it has the fire sprite. And when it fires again, there is no fire sprite. So we also need to reset it, of course. The easiest way to do this would be to create a controller for each projectile. So fire has its own, poison has its own, and so on. So this projectile controller, I would like to rename that to fire projectile controller. So I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times. I'm going to have a poison projectile controller. I'm going to have a uh, ice projectile controller. And I'm going to have a what's the last one? Um, that storm projectile controller. So to do this, we will have to create an animation uh, for our projectiles, basically. Or we're going to have, we're going to cheat, so it looks like we have an animation, right? So go to sprites and find, um, I guess towers and projectiles there. As you can see we only have one projectile, right? We can only create an animation if we have two. Of the same sprite we, we can't make an animation out of one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click show and explore open up projectiles take all these and copy and paste them have a fire copy and ice copy and so on you can rename these if you don't want to have that copy written after it i don't really care right now so i'm going to select the fire copy and fire put it here and i'm going to say assets and animation going to put it under just put it under other um, and then call it fire projectile and then I'm going to do the same for ice select them and ice projectile I'm going to go to lightning do the exact same thing lightning or it's called storm projectile and poison and call this one poison projectile now we have all those just delete them from the scene go to the animation folder um, others and then select all the controllers and delete them now we have fire projectile ice poison projectile poof and storm projectile basically we can take these and move them out to animations and make a new folder called projectiles. We have a lot of projectiles, so we might as well just have them in one folder, right? Okay, so if we go to the controllers, and well, the same should go here, right? Select all of them. Instead of other, just rename this one to uh, projectiles. So if we go to these, let's take them one by one. If you select animator, select fire projectile, select the projectile here, select the motion, and the motion we want is called fire projectile and select the ice select that one and give it a motion called I frost projectile or ice projectile go and we do the same for the poison poison projectile and the storm projectile as well Ah, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. So now they all have an animator. We need to go to the prefab folder and select the projectiles. And the fire already has an animator, but the frost doesn't. So add an animator there and give it the frost uh, ice projectile controller. Click the poison 
can add an animator and give it the poison projectile controller and then we have the storm tower and also need an animator and we need to give it the storm projectile controller now they all have a controller on them and they have the right motion let's try again and see what happens we have the fire tower here and see what happens when it fires the second projectile yeah okay so the problem there is the fact that one of the fire sprites has a larger pixel size so to fix that if you don't want that weird effect in your game select sprites go to um, towers and find projectiles and select all of them and make sure that their pixels per unit is 300 click apply then maybe just place these two towers here. Ah, let's just take a first tower and next wave and let's see. They should hit it. And they can fire twice without having no sprite. So now you are able to pre create a poof animation whenever you hit, um, hit an enemy. So that's it for this video. So remember to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. And also, um, if you want to support me in other way, you can support me on Patreon or uh, by clicking the link in the bottom of the screen. If you support me on Patreon, you get every single um, project that I've created for YouTube. And if you do you support me on the bottom link, you can get one of my projects or more as a standalone product. So thank you very much for watching.